Okay, so for these, we want to determine whether these statements are true or false. And before we can determine that, we'll just talk real, uh, really briefly about elements and subsets. So suppose that A is a set containing X and Y, right? So A is going to have uh, X, Y. Um, so we have that X, X and Y belong to A. However, the power set of A is going to be the sets containing the subsets of A. So it's gonna contain X, it's going to contain the set containing Y, it's gonna contain the set containing X, Y, and it's gonna contain the empty set. Notice that it does not actually contain the elements of A. It just contains the sets containing the elements of A. So with this in mind, for A, we can say that if X belongs to A, which is the situation here, then X belongs to the power set of A. And that's not true because, like we said before, the power set contains sets. It does not contain elements. So that's going to be false. For B, we have if X belongs to A, then the set containing X belongs to power set of A. And that's true because we can see here that it does belong, right, if X is in A. This is because uh, the power set will have the elements that are subsets of A. So as long as you have a set of an element that is contained in A, then that belongs to the power set. So that's true. Um, for C, we're going to have if X belongs to A, then the set containing X is a subset of power set A. So remember that the definition, so I have that, let's say, um, I have set, let me see, I said M is a subset of N, I should actually put this in capital letter. If for all uh, M belonging to M, M belongs to N, right? That's the definition for a subset. So this would be a subset if X, the element X, were contained in the power set of A. But remember, the element X is not contained, right? Uh, instead, the set containing X is contained in, in the power set of A. So this is false. This is false because X does not belong in power set of A. Um, so what about D? We have that if the set containing X, Y belongs to power set of A, then X belongs to A and Y belongs to A. And this is true because we're saying, hey, if this, if X, Y belongs to the power set of A, it means that the set containing X, Y, so it means that X, Y is going to be a subset of A, right? And for it to be a subset of A, it means that X is included in A and Y is included in A. So this here is going to be true. Um, what about E? If B is contained in A, then the set of B belongs to power set A. So let's just do an example here. So I'm going to say that A is going to be X, Y, and B is just going to be the set containing Y. So that's B, right? Um, so let's see. The power set of A is, will have, will have um, X, the set containing X, the set containing Y, the set containing X, Y, and the empty set. So those are the elements of power set of A. And remember that B is going to be the set of Y, right? So now it's saying, hey, the set containing B. So the set containing B is going to be the set of the set of B. So it's going to be this. Because remember that B is just a set that contains Y. So we can clearly see here that the set of the set of B is not an element of the power set of A, right? We cannot, we can't find it here. So therefore that's false because we can very easily produce a counterexample. Um, and similarly, if B is a subset of A, then B belongs to the power set of A. And that's true because by definition, uh, the power set of A is a set containing all subsets of A. And so if B is a subset of A, it definitely belongs in the power set. So that's true. Um, for G, we have if B belongs to the power set of A, then B is a subset of A. And that is true because that's just the definition. Like if uh, if some set is an element of the power set of A, then by definition, it is a subset. So that's going to be true. And lastly, we have that if, um, if C is contained in B, and B belongs to the power set of A, then C belongs to the power set of A, right? Um, 
And so let's see if this is let's see if this is true. If if C is contained in B, right? It means that uh, C is a subset of B, but B is a subset of A. So it definitely means then that C is a subset of A. It implies that C is a subset of A. Um, and so if C is a subset of A, then it definitely belongs in the power set of A. So that's going to be true. And that is it for item 15.